All right, so today, uh, yeah, so FPX, we got tapped down, same thing, right? Here's my level, 3870 is support, 3950 is next resistance. That's really important. So words of caution, still, still, and always in my um, intermarket, big picture on the trend, but we still have this swing move now, up to 39.50 wouldn't surprise me. Uh, futures definitely popped above that 39.16, wherever we were. Whoa, what the heck was that? Doesn't matter. Um, so it's it's basically opening up a very large pivot strike, right? That 3,900. So now we have the the call wall is 39.50, pretty much where this monthly has been for a long time, still there, but. All bets are off after that. I think we'll have a violent downside reaction. If not after FOMC, um, then after the midterms. CPI is not until the 10th. What's today's price target? Oh, God. 38.76. I think we'll get a little soft here. Like Ann said, there's a lot of stuff that's getting rejected. So we have a gap to fill here. So uh, see this gap? This is what we fill today. So 38.76 is, uh, that's 38.87. 38.76 is pivot, which is why I'm saying pivot. I probably wouldn't be surprised if we come all the way back down to 38.72. So we're at the 21 week, getting re getting a little rejected. We popped above 3,900. It's getting a little shy. Nothing has broken down. Um, intraday, however, you can see the spike and then uh, drop we come right back down to this trend line. I'm on a 15 minute. I think we'll go through 3880, 3876. I think we'll come back down to pivot, in other words. Maybe, and if we get through this area, let's see what we get here. Filling, we gotta fill that gap. Long story short, we gotta fill that gap. Yeah, I'm pretty comfortable that we're gonna fill that gap. But I'm trying to, but you're asking where do we where do we hit back to the pivot? So if we're gonna, if we once we lose, once we lose a gap. We go back to the pivot intraday. It's just typically, it's like a reversion to the mean. Like Anne was saying, there are a lot of stuff that popped way up at the open and then they're pulling back. Now she's trading on a smaller time frame, and you know that I usually have these open hour, but I'll go to the smaller time frame to see. Oh yeah. <laughs> so that's all. I'm just um kind of sizing up that we could come back a little bit more to the pivot and then we'll see. So see how we've popped above the Bollinger Band on a 15? We're coming right back to the pivot. And now the question will be, can we break below it and head down to 38.50? So once we get above the Bollinger Band, we typically go below the Bollinger Band in time. So now we got to see if we can break through this um, 38.72.42 and then head down to that bottom of the Bollinger Band on the 15, which is basically 38.59. All right, so we're shorting out. That's basically this revert, this rejection at 3,900 with potential to come all the way back down to 3,838. But I mean, today, but right now I'm just looking at level by level, right? So once it breaks the pivot, came back in, here's the gap fill, check. Here's the next one. Remember, I said 3,876 on way to 3,872. This is a little junky down here, but the idea is this Bollinger Band. It goes above and crashes back in and then goes outside the Bollinger Band. So this is basically 38.59. So this is what I was expecting, right? It goes outside the Bollinger Band and then it expands outside this Bollinger Band. I don't think this is done. I really, really, really don't. But 38.38 is not only price target, but it's also support. So if we break 38.38, I'll be... Hmm, this has got a decent chance to break, to go down to 3,800 and break it. But for right now, we're just having this whipsaw right here. The next area that needs to break is 3,863. Now I think we can make it to 3,859. That wouldn't surprise me. But we're sitting on the three-day again. And 
38.38 is key for SPX. It doesn't even want to go down that far. So 38.63 has to break. It's just not there. Strange, huh? I know. So we just bounced. Here we go. So if you're still short, this is the level you want to see taken out. 38.63. And then it's got some intraday levels to go through. 38.59. 38.50. 38.45, these are, I don't know if you can see these underneath, but big picture, 38.33 is support. So I still think we kind of come down here and that's where we get a really much better tell. We also have a little stabilization here with this SPX. We've kind of gone a little bit outside, the, a lot outside the Bollinger Band on an intraday, a little outside, so not so exciting. And here we are getting supported. Pretty pretty frustrating if you are still trying to short this. It has to stay below 38.81, right? So it goes here and then gets rejected. That would be a nice, nice, nice continuation short. Otherwise, this is a little bit of a pause, bounce into this 38.81, and then we'll see. Above is bullish, below is not. SPY has this big update inside day and then a reversal. What that means is ideally, Ideally, see the bottom of this candle right here? The bottom is literally 379.68. Well, I'm going to use SPX instead. It doesn't matter. The bottom is 3808. Ideally, this will come right back down to 3808. It's much, much, much higher probability when this little doohickey is above and then you have a morning star reversal. So this is not a picture perfect morning star reversal. But I did say on the 15 minute, you wanted to see this not get above 3881. And it, oops, I'm on the 15. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So it's still working beautifully as a short. It just popped up, got rejected. And here's that Bollinger Band opening up. Little intraday support here. Now the next level. Right, pops up, gets rejected, moves down to 38.50, 38.45, and then 38.38. That's going to be a, a big level like the 150 for Apple. So ideally, you will know that the market's done going up. In other words, for this swing that has been in play since 10.13, and then this was Bank of Japan intervention Friday morning confirmation, and then you have this you know, inverse head and shoulder 3,800, we go all the way back up to the 200 day. You'll know that it's broken. It's not a swing anymore because this will come back down and break 3,800. So that's going to be the only way that I get really high conviction that this is a, a solid, um, it's, it's broken. It's not going to move any higher. We don't have it yet. We just have the potential of this reversing all the way back down.